welcome back to my channel so I have a how to apply a perfect winged liner tutorial for you guys today and a lot of you always ask me in my makeup tutorials if I could like spend time explaining to you guys how I apply my winged liner so you all can but see I'll like show it. you guys like the basics the tips and tricks of how I apply my winged liner yeah you guys I hope you all find this video helpful and don't forget to hit that like button below and help me share this video and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already so you don't miss any new uploads from me and if you want to see how I apply my winged liner then definitely keep on watching so when applying my winged liner the very first thing that comes to my mind is what brushes to use especially if I'm using a gel liner and I'm so in love with all these brushes right here I have five brushes that I always reach out for whenever I'm doing a winged liner and the first one I have here is this one from Coastal Scents and it's their BROCS16 this one is kind of angled you know it's kind of in an angled position so and it also comes with a very nice precise tip so it will be much more easier for for you to control your hand while applying your winged liner and then the next one I have is from Zoeva and as you all can see this is kind of an angled um, brush but it's you know the smaller size and this is you know ideal for making that precise line and you know it just helps give you that very nice precise line when applying your winged liner the next one is just like the Zoeva but this one is from Sigma it's definitely the same thing like I always reach out for either of the two you know so this is exactly like the Zoeva 312 brush and then the next one I have is this one from Karate Cosmetics and this one is more like a pen eyeliner brush it's very very like straight and precise I always find like find myself struggling to use this one because of the fact that it's you know just like straight so you have to master how to put your hand to be able to apply it but apart from that I also love this particular brush right here but then my favorite brush when it comes to applying my winged liner is this one from Zoeva and it's their 317 winged liner oh my gosh you guys this right here is an angled brush as you all can see so it just makes applying a winged liner so 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 easier you know? and also moving on from the brushes we have three different types of liner we have the gel we have the liquid and we have the pen I enjoy using my liquid liner especially this NYC liquid liner because it has a very nice precise tip so it makes it very very easy to get that perfect line you know and precision and then also my favorite you know it's always the pen liner because this especially if you're a beginner I would advise you start with your pen liner because you know it just makes it so much easier like everybody we all know how to use a pen to write so it's more or less as if you're using a pen so it's much more easier to achieve that very nice perfect wing and I love this too pen liners right here the Kat Von D tattoo liner and also the L'Oreal infallible the super slim liner these two liners right here have a very nice precise tip so it makes it so much easier to apply your wing liner and then my favorite gel liner when it comes to applying my wing is this one right here and it's the Inglot gel liner in number 77 and I'm so in love with this gel liner right here because like it's the darkest gel liner I've ever used and also it's waterproof so you have to work fast while using this gel liner or else you know it will dry so quick so there are a few things I love to do whenever I'm applying my winged liner first thing is I love to have a very steady hand so I have a table right here where I'm placing my elbow the next thing I also love to use is a very close mirror so I will be able to see whatever it is I'm doing so to apply my winged liner I'll be using this Zoeva 317 winged liner brush with my Inglot number 77 gel liner and what I normally love to do is to use the tip of the brush and pick up the product you know I don't like dipping the whole brush inside the gel liner I just love to use the tip and pick up the product and then at the cap of the gel liner I love to just go in with the brush and remove any excess so it doesn't you know get my wing messy so the very first thing I have at the back of my mind whenever I'm applying a wing liner is the position I want my wing liner to go as you all can see we have the top and the bottom lashes and whenever I want to apply my wing liner I always look at my bottom lashes and just assume as though my bottom lashes is like extending up to my lid and my crease and by following that exact direction you will know exactly where to place your brush and for that I always love to draw out a line you know depending on how long or how thick I want my wing liner to be the first thing I love to do is to draw out a line
so I will go in and connect that line into my lid just like this and then I'll go into the inner corners of my eye and connect the lines and when I'm going in I love to keep the line as tiny as possible just something like this as you all can see we've connected the line to the inner corners of the eye and then I just go in with the same brush and fill up the gap So when you have something that looks like this, it all depends on you. You can easily go in and build up the thickness depending on how you know you want to do it. And as you all can see, that is it. Like there is nothing, there is no big deal about applying your wing liner. You just have to practice. So I will go ahead now and finish up this, this side. And just to tie this whole wing liner together, I will go ahead and apply my lashes. And once I've gone ahead and applied my lashes, that is it you guys, that is basically it. As you all can see, you know, applying a wing liner seems very, very easy, but I promise you guys it's not. It's not easy at all. It just takes a lot of practice for you to be able to perfect it, as you all can see. Yeah, you guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did, please don't forget to hit that like button below, and also hit the subscribe button if you haven't already, and till my next video, I will see you all very, very soon. 